Uh, well, I mean, that was just a great win. I mean, I, and that's not mean it's not the master of the obvious, but we should have lost that game like three different times. And we found a way to win. And, and like I just said to these guys up in the locker room, um, you know, we won because we have heart, we have guts. We found a way. We were tough when we had to be. Um, couldn't have started out the game worse. Um, but, uh, you know, we just found a way to win. And, you know, our challenge now is to look at this tape. I just said to you guys, look at this tape and, and see all the mistakes that we made, all the bad plays that we made, and learn when you've got to learn when you win. You know, lots, everybody learns when you lose because the mistakes are magnified. But you know, we got to look at all the bonehead things we did, the bad this, the bad that. Because if we can correct that stuff, because we found out tonight, we learned tonight that we got heart. That's what we learned tonight. And we got toughness, and we got winners. That's what we learned tonight. So if we can uh, learn the other things, then we can, uh, then we can be a good team. Did you expect Joe to play that much? I would say circumstances. You know, it, it is a, uh, it's just uh, with those three guys, we don't know who's going to play. We really don't. We just go with the hot hand. That's kind of what we said. One day Eric's the best guy on the floor. The next day Joe is. The next day Scooter is. So, no, he had to play because Scooter fouled out. But, um, you know, we, did, we just never know. We just never know. So, you know, in the circumstances where he had to play, but he really came through. I thought, I thought Ollie had a little flurry there, too. But Ollie Langford with the two offensive rebounds on this foul shot, and then hit the three. So. And yet, at one point late in the game, I mean, you've got basically all newcomers except this guy, and he's only been for a year. And you kind of talked about starting over, you got new coaches, you got new everything. And then, you just kind of new chapters. I thought you were looking at this. Absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and even specifically, I said there, there's going to be times this year when Josh Turner gets back, that we'll have five freshmen on the floor at the same time. Uh, so, as I said, and I, I say it all the time because it's true. It's, it's exciting and scary at the same time. But you know what? He's not a regular freshman. This guy right here. I mean, he he wasn't even. He'd be the first to tell you he wasn't even great tonight. He did some great things, but you haven't even seen how good this guy is yet. All right. And MJ, because of all he played last year, he's not just your regular sophomore. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it is a group that, that's, that's, I mean, I think it's going to be a second issue, but as time goes on. Can you talk a little about their, their freshman kid? I mean, did, yeah. I know he played well in the opener, but I, I'm sure he didn't expect 39 points. And, I mean, hitting from, at times, he was, your guys weren't switching on him, and you could just see you were doing that. Oh, somebody's got to guard this guy at some point. Well, <clears throat> no, I didn't know he was that good. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he knew he was that good. I mean, that was, I don't know, it was just an incredible performance. Uh, didn't appreciate him, you know, talking nonsense when he ran by the bench after he made a shot, but that's, you know, that's the way it goes. But um, he, uh, he was a tremendous performance. Uh, what I was disappointed in is that we're not, like, recognizing when a guy's got a hot hand or this is the guy who got stuck. I mean, because you know, if we're going to play the way we play, it could be anybody guarding. It wasn't just one guy. So, you know, it's, those are, that's one of the things we're going to have to learn when we look at this tape. It's like, look, here was a time when we really didn't lock in on him like we needed to. Bobby, you talked a bit about how Wani played and just the effect he had in the game. Uh, he's a real smart player, real smart player, and he accepts the challenge. He goes about, plays the right way, he has the right demeanor, and he's just tough, has a lot of heart. And Wani, you guys are down 18, I think it was seven minutes into the game. What are you thinking at that point in your first game, you know, about your chances of coming back? First of all, I was exhausted. <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying to myself and my teammates, we just got to get back in and just keep playing. We got to fight every play. We got two minutes off. <laughs> and then you talk about how it felt to be a part of a comeback and, and win like this at home. It felt good. Uh, we just need to you know, like, start off better and uh, come, prepared, come prepared to play. Marvin, can you talk about getting the line a little bit? That's something that, especially as kids get older, they realize hey, those are easier points than. Yeah. Doing 16 things and firing up shots from all over the place, and what that obviously that reflects in your scoring line. Thing. Um, early took a lot of bad shots, a lot of bad shots. So uh, uh, my teammates were telling me just just attack because they they felt the guy who was guarding me couldn't. So it was just times I just needed to break them down and just get to the rim and get fouled and get easy punch from the line just to get us going or get myself going. What did you guys do defensively to kind of slow them down and score a ton of points early and then got better as the game went along? Um, I think it all just comes down to having heart and just being ready to accept the challenge and really fight for each other. Uh, I think you know, we just need to have more energy when we come out there on defense. Be ready to stop the defender. If you uh, try to go passes, we all have to help and be ready. I kind of think we, we change up some defenses a little bit, and when we score, then we start to score a little bit. I mean, you know, all we were doing was playing defense for the, you know, play the Buffalo Bills. All we were doing was playing defense here for the first uh, for the first ten minutes. So we were we were our offense was 
creating terrible defense because we were taking some bad shots and taking some quick shots that we shouldn't take, and that leads to you know some bad transition defense. They they must have scored 12 points on just not somebody being back. Okay, now, I'm not going to say what two guys are supposed to be back, but you could throw something at them right now and head for them. Supposed to be back, but um, you know so so was that? But it was bad shot, bad offense leads to bad, bad transition defense. Marvin, I know you're not the old guy, but the experienced guy. I mean, is that kind of a weird situation? When you look at this last year at this point, you don't know what you're coming into. You're not sure how much you're going to get the ball. You know, now you're the guy everybody's kind of looking at. They're probably asking for advice. Is that like such a strange role reversal in one year? No, it's not a strange role. I've got brothers and sisters, and they always ask me for advice all the time, so I'm used to doing things like that. Uh, old teammates, I used to always do it. High school, I always had a young team, and I was pretty much a leader, but I'm, I'm comfortable with that role. Good enough. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you.